Good morning. This is Connie Galley with another edition of Shelter Tales. And with me today is Chris Ramo from the uh, Home Sweet Home. Yep, Home Sweet Home Pet Care. Pet Care and the Happy Cat Hotel, which is a fabulous place that I want to live in my next life. Uh, so, Chris, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and you're, it's a husband and wife team. I think I talked to your wife, Meg. Yes. Uh, and you said that the Home Sweet Home uh, preceded the Happy Cat, that is the parent company. So Correct. when did Home Sweet Home uh, start, and what was your function or your uh, business venture with Home Sweet Home? Yep, so uh, Home Sweet Home started in 2007, still in existence today. Um, it is a is primarily a house call pet care service. Oh, okay. Uh, we provide everything from... Uh, dog walks to uh, uh, medication care visits, uh, uh, pet sitting, uh, you know, we do behavioral uh, assessments uh -huh. with a, a lot of our clients. Um, and the, the, the focus there is you're able to leave your pet at home, whether you're at work or you're traveling uh, on vacation or on business, and our, so our more staff is trained, yep, and, uh -huh. and we come in and, and take care of the pets. But that's home. a lot of, I mean, how, how many on staff do you have? Because oh, during the summer, I can imagine there's a lot of running house to yeah. house. Like, and during the winter, oh, during especially the winter. in New England. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Out of town. Um, there's 20 people on staff wow. right now. We uh -huh. serve uh, 14 towns throughout Greater Hartford. Uh, we are based in Windsor. We and how far up do you go? You're saying Greater Hartford. Would yeah, you tell me the uh, town so from, too? We go. To, we cover parts of Enfield, uh, as far west as Avon, as far east as uh, Vernon, and uh, as far south as Glastonbury. Uh, Southfield. Southfield is kind of in limited engagements. It right, just okay. depends on the nature okay. of it. Yes. I ask because <laughs> right, that's where I come from, and uh, sometimes I do need pet sitting, mm -hmm. uh, and I'd like to keep you on board. So, so from two thousand seven, uh, it's a very busy, successful business. And then, what what made you come up? Because I think you're fairly new with the Happy Cat Hotel. It's the last in the last six months or so, correct? Correct. We opened the Happy Cat Hotel on uh, November fifteenth. Oh, so congratulations! Yeah. It's almost your grand opening it type is, few yeah. months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I understand that you've been kind of book solid there it, it's been very well received that's a, really a big reason that we did it um, uh -huh. um, was just the, the the marketing research that we were uh, that we had access to in operating home sweet home pet uh -huh. care uh -huh. uh, we're not just in touch with folks who need house call service uh, we're in touch at that point in time with folks who are looking you know to board their cat we're in touch with the, the cat market so to speak uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, cats are generally treated as second class citizens in terms of yes they in are in terms of the, the market yes you know, they like are the, you Thank see you. more dog yeah. commercials than right. cat commercials right. but uh, the truth of the matter is there's actually more cat owning families in Connecticut than there are dog owning families and they usually have multiple cats i know from experience correct. and working with a the shelter they usually have multiple cats yep. the other thing too is cats are a little more high strung let's face it than a dog would because i've been to boarding where the dogs are all happily playing cats mm -hmm don't normally do that they're a little bit territorial unless they have a, come in with another cat so that takes the stress off of them because when i boarded cats mm -hmm. in the past uh it was at a vet in a cage and they would tell me i'd say how much of the time does and, and they treated them wonderfully but how much of the time does my cat get out because it was it was an indoor outdoor cat at the mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. and they said well when we clean the cage we take her out every day and one of the technicians little boys comes after school because she's a good cat and he plays with her but I probably would say 20 hours a day yeah. she was in that cage. So this really brings it to a, a whole new level. Um, I, your, your website, and there'll be some stills up behind us uh, you know, as we speak. Sure. Your website, there, there's how many rooms? I mean, they're from 200 and some feet to 500 and some yeah. feet. That's like a, you know. Yeah, cubic feet, which, which oh. the reason we, we equate it in terms of cubic feet is because up we have down full, full cat trees. Right, right, right. It's right. not a, you know, a cat condo right, or right. anything. It is a full-sized right. uh, room. So that's uh, 260 cubic feet to, to 500 plus. Um, there's 12 rooms. Each one is individually themed. There are no cages. The, 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 you know, the room is, is the room. They have beds, they have perches, they have cat trees, they have cat hammocks. Um, uh, you know, just uh, pretty much every the windows. I'm sure there's windows like your windows to look into, and, the other, yeah. in, into each other's rooms. Windows that look outside, um, and we rotate one room at a time. Uh, throughout the day, and uh, the, the cats come out and join us in the lobby. Oh, they, really? They have oh, really? cat trees yeah. uh, in in the lobby itself. We have a fish tank. They they so they that, that's kitty TV. Yeah, absolutely, that's kitty TV. <laughs> you know, I got bird feeders yeah. out. Like, they they are fascinated, and that's good also because they are getting out with the general public 
coming in and out and and, and well that's the that's the thing we lock we lock it down mm -hmm, during that mm -hmm. time so, right right because so, we don't want anyone opening the door if there's and letting somebody idea. escape right, right. Yeah. but but they're socializing with they're us. Socializing, they're socializing with people with the staff right and um, for even the most skittish cats a lot of times people don't have a choice they may not they may want to leave their cat at home uh, an example we just had a, a client leave yesterday literally yesterday uh, they were there for six and a half weeks because their kitchen was being remodeled. Wow. Okay. And they, you know, they are cat-centric people. They did not want to take the chance of the cats getting out. Yeah, and coming in or getting trapped behind a wall. Or, you getting, know, yeah. it's like a... Uh, the noise, all the nail dings. Right, right, and, right. Very, very stressful for a cat. So they needed a safe place mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to put the cats. They came in there for six and a half weeks. When that family came in yesterday to pick their cats up, uh, they were... They were passed out in the cat would pass out in the cat trees. <laughs> yes, one was sitting on the one of the, the, the seats in front of the, the, the lobby desk. The other one was in the picture window. Did he say like come back for me in another day he or two? Was, he was he was really upset that <laughs> they did not care that he had right. showed that he was here to take them you home. Showed up you know? in the carrier, <laughs> right? You showed up in that <laughs> little carrier. So, yes, if we do if we do daycare, he said I'll bring them down every day. I mean that's um, so funny. But it's a, it's just a different environment. There's really nothing like it um, that that we've found in in you know Connecticut it certainly in greater heart yeah uh, i haven't heard of anything in new england yeah. um it, 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 it's opening a lot of doors for people who kind of hesitated about boarding before it's and again really because my thing. own experience and she was treated wonderfully because it was my vet who i trusted sure. but they're in a cage let's yeah. face it if you vet, you know board and the other option the other thing is um and and you're bonded and all to go into people's mm -hmm. houses you know sometimes you go do i really want and I'm not talking about you, but yes. somebody you don't know or somebody is bonded or somebody you find in the paper, yes. it, sometimes it is easier for people to come into the houses, but you have to have, you're established, you're a known quantity, yeah. you're trustable, and that makes a difference with a lot of people going, oh, mm -hmm. I don't know this pet sitter coming into my house. I mean, this uh, is a business. No, this is absolutely. An established um, business. You no, know, you hit the nail right in the head. I mean, you know, truth be told, almost anybody can walk a dog. Um, you know, anybody can go in and, and, and feed a cat. Right. Um, that's not what our clientele is is paying for. They are they are paying for reli reliability. Right. Right. Um, they're they're paying for a staff that is em em employed by us. We mm -hmm. we cover their workers' compensation. Right. We. You oh, know, that's we, a good point. We, yeah, I never we, thought about we, that. We I mean, somebody, especially in a winter like this, uh, trips and falls in your driveway. Trips and falls in your, mm -hmm. your yep. driveway. Yep. It's unfortunate, but these are the yep. things that we they have happen. to live with nowadays. Yep. So all of that is covered by us by our company. Um, uh, everybody is, is that's on staff is trained is is you know goes through the same protocol. Mm -hmm. We can so the, the the Happy Cat Hotel is sort of a a, a continuation a variation of that type of service mentality. Mm -hmm. It's just there's a there's a, a facility. It's the mm -hmm. same people. It's the same thought process. The same mm -hmm. philosophies in terms of how to. Uh, you know how to best care for pets, right? Right. Um, and being trustworthy and and and, and all. And that that's that's a that's yeah. a significant it, issue today. Significant it, issue. I mean, everything that we do uh, in terms of advertising, there's nothing greater than than our ref, our, our references. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Word of and mouth. It, and it's for any business, but yeah. it really goes sure. a long, long way for us. And you're, um, your pets are an extension of your family, and you wouldn't yeah. leave your kids with a stranger. You know, yeah, I mean, no, it's like I, I think yeah, a lot of people feel that they are. And you do, you go over and above when they are there. I, I noticed, uh, you know, a lot of the, the, you'll help. They'll groom them, brushing, cuddling, mm -hmm. loving, yeah. uh, medicating if they need medications, yeah. which is something big. Yeah. You know, because yeah. if you especially with cats. It's, There's a joke, how many challenge. people does it take to medicate a cat? Right, right. And then you have to be medicated afterwards yeah. and bandaged up. Uh, you know, it's like give a dog, wrap a pill in a, a bacon a for a dog. A bacon, and boy, it's, it's but a for a cat, deal. it's yeah. like four people holding yeah. them down, one on each leg, and, and they still get you. Yeah. So that's a big thing, you know, that the, the extra love and care, the, the medication, knowing if my cat's older mm -hmm. and needs to be watched out for this, or, you know, Absolutely. are they going enough? Are they eating enough? Yep. Are they, is everything okay? So you also have enough people on staff to look over that? Yeah, everyone is, is uh, again, equally trained in mm -hmm. all of those different mm -hmm. facets. Um, uh, any of the medications that we're delivering, whether it's, you know, insulin, um, subcutaneous fluids, pills, uh, transdermals, it's nothing that, you know, the, the cat owner themselves isn't Trained, trained to do and doesn't know how right. to do we're not doing surgery we're right not, we're right not doing any right. invasive right. you know procedures or anything like that uh every you know all of our staff is trained by mm -hmm. 
veterinarians to, to do these basic Oh, really? Basic now, talk about that because things, yeah. you did say you have a vet on, on call if, if somebody gets mm -hmm. ill while they're with you. Correct. So talk about that because, what kind, you know, um, local vets will actually take people in to train. I know mm -hmm. I try to chip animals at the shelter I volunteer in. Exactly. Oh, forget it. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm really bad at that because I'm afraid I'm going to hurt them, mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. I'm very tentative and then the chip doesn't go in the microchip. Yeah. But so you have uh, vets actually train staff on how to do all this. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a workshop. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not an official, I don't want to mislead, it's not right, Right, right. Uh, uh, you know, certification, regular. But they know budget, how to do it every, without yeah, we, injury. Yeah, we do, we mm -hmm. do workshops throughout the year. Uh, our staff goes in um, and, and, and does all different techniques, pet CPR, first aid, you know, oh, really? certified, okay. whether it's through the Red Cross or one of our veterinarians. Um, and all of the, the more practical applications, mm -hmm. like an insulin shot, like how to pill a cat, you know, mm -hmm. properly and so on. Uh, and we do, you know, two, three, four of these uh, workshops throughout the year. Um, some of our staff, you know, gets into more advanced right. things right. If, if, if they already have that base knowledge and then new people who come on board have to go through the workshop before they can work mm -hmm. with any of the animals. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and yeah, the, the above and beyond stuff, you know, there, there are facilities out there that you can, you can pay for a lot of upgrades. You can mm -hmm. pay for, uh, I don't know. It's just not, you know, we, br I mean, we're there, we're doing it cause we, <laughs> Well, we that's enjoy the animals. Yeah, 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 right. I mean, well, that's you know, important. Brushing the cat. Yeah, or, I mean, you that's all part of it. Right. I don't. We, right. You know, we just have never. If, it, it, well, it's not just that, a business but. venture for you. Well, yeah. it's a successful business. You're doing it because it's something you love, yeah. and it, they're the businesses that are successful. It's a long, it's a long term proposition. Yeah. It's our retirement. It's our yeah. livelihood. It's, right. You know, it, it's all that stuff, and and we achieve that by having people come back because they're they're happy. They're happy in that word of mouth. Yeah. Let me ask you this: um, You have, uh, and this is this is way in the future, but you've already gone from home sweet home to mm -hmm. the Happy Cat Hotel. Uh, this is something that's certainly franchisable mm -hmm. at some point in time. You, yeah, yeah, you know I mean? because a lot of people don't think about that. Your 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 little thing on the website says no dogs allowed, mm -hmm. and that's funny, but because you are right, dogs bless them get you know so much more uh dogs have and i probably said this a million times on this dogs have masters cats have servants yeah. and so dogs are much more maybe you know involved in family life because they're so loyal and they're mm -hmm. there uh you know my cats look at me and go oh, you're home when's dinner you know that right. kind of thing right. um so this is certainly as people more and more people are in cities more and more people adopt cats because mm -hmm. they're in cities uh so this is certainly something mm -hmm. I'm thinking the New York market's so huge. So, <laughs> but, you know, that's big. Uh, <laughs> so I don't want to give away any secrets. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't but give any this trade is what secrets I mean away. By the, the, the marketing, the market research uh -huh. that we were able to, 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 to tap into by having mm -hmm. Home Sweet Home Pet Care. Um, cat, there are cat people out there. There are passionate cat people mm -hmm. out there. There are more passionate cat people than there are passionate dog people. We, the, they're below the surface. You don't see them walking their cat out in the right, street. Right. You don't see them at the dog parks. You don't right. see that. You know what I mean? They're right. private. They're in their home. Mm -hmm. But there's more houses that have, you know, that have a cat. Mm -hmm. and, and our clientele, the, the folks who are looking at this cat hotel, um, you know, they they are not the, we have two dogs and a cat. Can you take care of the dogs? And, mm -hmm. you know, we'll leave. Food oh, up for the we'll cat, leave for the, fluffy for the, at home, the, right? Right. right. She, right. she, she has a litter box she yeah. can fend for herself. Yeah. They're, I mean, that's why a lot of people get cats. They are self-reliant. They can. They're, they're independent. independent. Mm -hmm. um, but our nit, our our niche of people uh, are the ones who you know sit down and watch Animal Planet with their cat. You know, and and and, and, and you, really <laughs> I hate to do and, that. And, that's me. <laughs> and 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 that's fine. I mean that. Mm. But that's the that's. Th that's who is that's your target th market th and, and as yeah, you said there's a lot more and even if you do a lot of multi animals I was just on a business trip not too long ago and and one guy said well I got allergic to cats so now they live downstairs with my mother-in-law in the mother-in-law apartment and another guy said oh, I've got two cats a hamster a gerbil two dogs so right. it doesn't necessitate even though you have other animals yeah. they, they people do get do get cats and of yeah. course I'm a cat person love I love all animals uh, but uh, I mean, I mean, the folks when they come into mm. the and, and they, like you mentioned, we'll see the stills on the back, mm. some of the pictures, and and, and on the website, and so on. When when our 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 cat fanatics come into the hotel and and take a tour, I mean, their their questions are, where did you get that 
that cat tree? Where did you get that equipment? Where did you get those shell, those those uh, those cat climbing systems? Where did you get that bed, that hammock? Because it's stuff wanna, you don't see. They want to fit their house, house or like, retrofit you know, their house like you're right. Yeah, right. yeah. And and, the, and you know, husband and wife are you know talking. Oh, the 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 basement. You just refinished the basement. <laughs> she could have that whole section, right. and it's not an argument. Right. He's on board. He's on board. Yeah, that would be great for Muffy, you know. So it's it's people who who you know they're just above they're putting their they're putting their energies in. Now, I, a cat wall. Now, I haven't been down to the place yet, mm -hmm. but I will. A cat wall. What is a cat wall? I know you have a lot of climbing systems because they yeah. are great climbers and great. You know, mine is uh, the, the amazing Ponzi. He flies through the air, <laughs> unfortunately hits things I don't want him to hit because right. sometimes he lands clumsily. But it's the, amazing. That, so what is a climbing wall? Is it yeah. just carpeted wall or is it something? No, actually, that's one thing. There's no carpet in, any, in the facility okay. at all except for some throw mats uh, because we need to keep it as clean as possible, mm -hmm. spray and wipe, mm -hmm. sanitize. Okay. Um, at home, carpeted you know, cat trees and so on are fine because right. it's the same cats. Right, right. Um, but here where we have cats coming in, coming out, every time we turn over a room, we need to be able to spray and wipe and, and you know, sanitize 100%. This is a side note. But um, the the cat wall or, or cat climbing systems are uh, just a, a variation of different shaped and sized shelving units, essentially, that are uh, studded or bolted into the walls. Um, and it allows the cats to to zigzag and climb up the walls and get to the higher because they love to be areas. high and yeah they feel safer Absolutely. higher they like to look yep. they like to look down on people yep. <laughs> and and some we have our, I mean our cat she she's actually the opposite she doesn't like to climb mm. we just she's just lazy <laughs> uh, there's really <laughs> no, like, other there's no other explanation, explanation for it. For it. she's lazy <laughs> but um, that's that's a lot of work to go up there and, and yeah. I can fend for myself I can get down food here. down yeah. here and I'll right. do any tricks for these people <laughs> that's it. Um, and so we you know we try to balance each room with a mm -hmm. with a, uh, a you know equal uh, opportunity for for you know bushing and low mm. low you know cabinets and low mm. areas that they can hide in if that's if that's uh, yeah. you know, where they want to yeah. right. feel comfortable and then uh, you know they can they can they can climb up on the perch I, I will say at the at the end of you know maybe a 24 to like 36 hour period of time uh, we have honestly we have not had a cat yet that hasn't felt adjusted mm -hmm. and adjusted and come to the the we our doors the doors to the rooms are full you know, glass pane doors. So they can see you. And they can and look out and, and they just sit, you know, by the door and just wait for their turn to kind of come Isn't out and, that and check out the yeah. rest of the hotel when they're when they're comfortable. Because they're so tentative generally. You know, I have a cat that lived under my sofa for a year. Yeah. And Annie came in with another cat that he was totally comfortable with, but he just just lived under the sofa. Yeah. Yeah. And and they are they are kind of like freakish sometimes a lot more so <laughs> than dogs. So that they're feeling that adjusted and comfortable so soon yeah. is really um, kudos to you because the cats in my living quarters right, don't feel right, that comfortable yeah. all the time. It, it, it's, it, uh, it, I mean, it's just. I think. I think it's a combination of energy. It's a combination of of, of uh, enrichment. The things that mm. the, the the things that they. I mean, we have little. I mean, toys and and all kinds of, you know, catnip. If if you know who to ask, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> so, it, it just and, and it's a it is a it's a quiet environment mm. um there's no barking dogs it's not a right, mixed right. kennel right um I, I just i just feel like there's just a very soothing energy there and it and it really well you're a really very soothing person i'm talking to oh, you well. you're a very low-key soothing person <laughs> so what are your what are the hours i mean obviously 24 7 but the hours for people to maybe who want to go and do a walkthrough or mm -hmm. who want to meet the staff or who want to what what are your hours to open to the public yeah typically nine to nine to five nine to six mm -hmm. uh, monday through friday um, Saturday, we, we kind of do a half day, uh, and then Sunday, we're, we're typically closed to the public. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, the care, if there's cats in there, I mean, right, the care right, is, right. is going 24-7. But to, to have administrative staff in there, um, you know, it's pretty standard yeah, working yeah, hours. Yeah, um, we do, you know, recommend if you, if you want to call ahead and, and, you know, book a tour. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a couple of minutes. It's yeah, not yeah, that, right, that big right. a facility, but... Uh, you know, call ahead. We'll make sure that we're that we're there and able to, you know, take you through and answer mm. any questions that you have. Mm. And, and um, you know, it's pretty much an open door policy. It might take a minute or two for us to, <laughs> to get, get to the, the cats out of the lo lobby <laughs> right. and put them back in the room so we can open the door. But uh, <laughs> oh, but that's, that's funny. You you did mention, or uh, on the site, I did see that if a person's boarding for more than three days, mm -hmm. um, I, is it as a first timer or as a 
a, a continuing client, they get a break on that first night of boarding? Yeah, we have a couple of different ways packages, that, we, yeah. that we do that. Um, the first time that you experience or your cat experiences the, the hotel, um, we do we do uh, pick up a night free uh -huh. uh, if you do three or more. Uh -huh. um, and that's the first time that you uh -huh. try it out. It is new. We want people to experience right. it. We right. want them to be happy with the service right. and, and come back. Um, another package type discount that we have is is for these long-term clients we have oh. we have snowbirds we have people remodeling their house uh whatever the kid we have uh you know uh, an elderly woman who unfortunately had to go to the, the hospital mm. and has, has had some long-term care uh. going on so we've had you know the cat there for that period of mm. time um they they we we offer you know uh, a 15 you know percent discount mm. uh once you if you're going to be there like a month or more right, I mean, it's, right, a, it's right. A, you know it's, okay. it, it adds up so we Try to, to work with people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I uh, just want to mention to you, and this is this is off the beaten trail, but if you do have, uh, I work with a shelter called the Connecticut Cat Connection. Mm -hmm. It's in Windsor, and um, if there, and we have had many, many cats uh, come to us because of elderly people who've broken a hip and not going to get out of a nursing mm -hmm. home. Uh, if you have any issues like that, please feel free to to give us a call because. You know, if the person decides at some point in time, I just can't do this anymore. Yeah, no, um, uh, absolutely. Uh, um, actually, we're I'm very uh, close with Tracy Zotter. Who, oh, Tracy, you know, okay, yeah, we're in the okay. JCs together. All right. So, okay, so um, you, we, so you know Tracy, that that and that is an, uh, uh, that's an option yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, why don't you give our audience your address and your phone number and your sure. website? So it is uh, the address is four four six Broad Street. Um, it's a, a block from from downtown, a block from uh, Geisler's. For all of the town town folk who have been here forever and ever, it is the old Griffin TV and Appliance oh, Building. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Nobody knows the address, but if you're but in they town, know the they old know the Griffin, Griffin TV and Appliance. They know that one, yes. Uh, the, the phone number is 860-697-6389, uh, extension zero. And the uh, the website is uh, the happy or happycathotel.com. Okay, happycat. Happycathotel.com. Uh, do you have any... Um, any plans for any uh, you probably had your grand opening in November mm -hmm. or December when you start it. Do you have any functions coming up that you intend to do? You can talk about that today so everybody in town knows about that. Yeah, um, I, nothing nothing planned, you know, as far as a date, but we do have a lot of concepts that we're working on mm -hmm. to, you know, to get people to, to visit and see right, what it's right. about. Um, we do have more space in the, the rear uh, end of the building. Um, that we do want to renovate in the next year or so, and we have a couple extend, of different. Extend, extend. Yeah, we might do rooms. some more rooms. Um, we have a couple other ideas floating around about how to use that space mm -hmm. in a cat-centric manner. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. We're really just trying to get our processes down to to you know make sure that this launch, that this grand opening, you know, runs smoothly and and everything has been on point so far. Um, so we don't, you know, we just haven't gotten to that point of penciling in, right, you right. Know, calendar when you do, items, you know, please, absolutely. please let us know. We can yeah. pop that up, and uh, maybe there can be some filming down there at some point yeah. in time. Yeah, that'd be great. So um, there is something else I want to talk about. Again, mm -hmm. not, and and you may know people because you're talking about marketing studies. Mm -hmm. uh, I work with the Connecticut Cat Connection. Tracy Zotter, yep. Marianne of Uig, and they just moved to 40 Stevens Mill Road. We are always looking for volunteers. We always talk about volunteers to come in and do kitty litter, feed cats, uh, this, that, and the other thing. Yep. Love cats. And, uh, but recently we realized there's a lot of fundraisers we could be doing, but we don't have the body. So we're looking for anybody, retired or not, if you have marketing or fundraising experience, we need the help. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of ideas, yep. and like you said, you know what it takes. You're going to pencil it, it in, but you've got to you've got to have the machine going. We right. got a lot of ideas, but we just don't have the bodies to help us with the ideas. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking for anybody with a marketing background. I'm mentioning this to you because yeah. you you noted it's that it. you did some marketing studies. If yeah. you know anybody. Um, coming on you're you're being interviewed here and i'm no, hitting you up no. for ideas no, <laughs> you know? I, I, we, but i mean it, really that you know with small organizations and, and, and yeah, absolutely nonprofits, especially you oh have my to gosh stick together and you gotta and stick together. as i mean we are a profit business uh, yeah we we identify that we need to you know 
get out there. To, you still to, have to contribute to the community yes, yeah. and do the things that we, you know, need. absolutely. And that's I, that's I, nice. The the Windsor businesses have been really wonderful in, in mm -hmm. almost every instance when we've asked for something. But you know, we're we're right now begging for volunteers that have any kind of marketing or fundraising experience, and not so much to do the calls and say, hey, can you donate this? Right. It's like getting out there and doing the physical labor yeah. of, uh, you know, we're talking about maybe an October fest yeah. or a, a big book sale. You need the body. So yeah. if you know anybody or anybody out there knows anybody or you want to volunteer, please call 860-930-5618, 860-930-5618. And that's something that we can, um, you know, share with our with our staff. That'd be wonderful. Our staff obviously is, is they're, 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 they're pet centric. Right, people, right, uh, right, and that's something that they identify with is is you know through the rescue organizations yeah. and shelters and so on. I'll certainly, you know, start there and put that, that out to I them and and, and yeah. you know get. It's not twenty. It's not even every day, every yeah. week. It's when we have these fundraisers coming up that uh, we have to do them constantly because you've you've you know Tracy and you know enough yeah. about shelters. Obviously, in the business you're in, we're always begging. It, we're always begging, and so we try to be some self sufficient, <laughs> get is, money in, in other no, ways. It is not. It's not an easy road. It's not <laughs> an easy road. Um, so, but. Uh, if also, if anybody has stories or you have stories about funny cats that you're dealing with, we ask you to go to shelter tales, T A I L S C T at gmail.com and send them in and maybe we can get those up on, uh, so if you find a cat that has done, done wall climbing that won't come down, let me know. <laughs> we can put that up on the next. We already have a plethora of those of, stories. Of that, funny yeah, stories. We, we, we've been posting them on our, on our Facebook page oh, and Twitter okay. and so on. Uh, we can just link to that and, yeah, sh they and are share, funny. The cross, share those with you. I would Absolutely. love that. Yeah. I would love that. They are funny, funny uh, <laughs> animals. Uh, super independent and super different. It's like I have three right now with me and you would think that uh, they came from one from the far side of the moon and one from Jupiter and one from somewhere else. You just never know. But they, they are funny. And That's as for the fish tank in your lobby, yeah. I have one that watches birds on TV and then runs around behind the TV to find them when they fly off the screen. I mean, it's hilarious, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. that kind of thing we would certainly put up it, or talk about. And that's the that's that's really the 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 thing that uh, non cat people don't don't don't, don't realize. Yeah, there's this. I'll say it. I mean, there's a sort of a misconception amongst the the general public <laughs> about cat. that cats are boring and you know they just keep to themselves yeah. and you know and this and that. When you strike a relationship with a cat, and, and they they're per, they have so much personality. Oh, they're funny. A, a, a lot of yeah. You know, they, yeah. Uh, it, it's really amazing, and those are the, the those are the people who 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 we you know we know you're who dealing we're with serving, it, who right? We're, yeah, working with all the time. Uh, it, they, I mean, they come in with a you know a laundry list of these are the activities she likes to do. <laughs> you know, like this is ballet. We, we give her you know we, we here's here's the cooler with the chopped shrimp. Oh, keep that in the fridge. I mean, oh, <laughs> uh, it, it's it, and the cat knows. I mean, the cat is now in a different place, but she knows. But she it's, knows her it's shrimp time. It's, it's shrimp time. Yeah. I know. I have to uh, spell treats. I have to spell treats because I got one cat that's just cannot have treats because she's just too fat. Yeah. And the other two are thin. And I, you know, the one is funny. I'll sit at night uh, watching TV, and when I get ready to go to bed, I no matter where he is in the house. He senses it, and he comes and stands in front of me and yells, 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 yeah. yells. Yeah. So I have to sneak him out and give him treats. And, uh, you know, they are funny. He's very jealous. If I pet another cat, mm -hmm. he's right there. I don't know where he comes from. He's like flying, flying yeah. He's been balls. sleeping he, for he 23 hours, but, he's, but it's tr he treat time. He sees me paying yeah. attention to somebody else, or it's treat time. There he is. Yeah. So, yeah, they do each have personalities. And, and that's in your business. You're dealing with, I mean, dogs have different personalities. Absolutely. But cats are really funny that way they are uh, maybe their independence maybe their critical thinking skills are different but they are because dogs adore you yeah. they are just funny to watch on an individual basis they yeah really yeah are. i think you have to be a little more observant a little more introspective and tolerant and, to <laughs> and tolerant, <laughs> tolerant let's face it, it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know and you know a, a, a dog I don't know, a dog chews on the couch. Well, okay, maybe a gate the dog from that room right, so right. you can't chew the couch anymore. You know, the cat, if she wants to get in there. 
I've gated them and found them on the other side of the gate <laughs> looking at me like, okay, oh, yeah, they're I, working who's the fool? <laughs> they're working together. <laughs> right, I don't know right, what they're doing, right. but they're, they're, yeah. they're two each other. steps ahead. That's oh, the yeah. point. So. Oh, yeah. Two steps ahead of me and you mm-hmm. probably for sure. But I thank you uh, for joining us because this program is about disseminating information mm-hmm. and increasing awareness of any animal issue and then also promoting adoption. Um, but I, I appreciate you coming and I can't wait to get down there because I said, looking at your website, I want to live there. <laughs> I want to live there so, in the havoc. <laughs> so I'll tell you a quick story. When sure. we had our grand opening, mm-hmm. um, we had a, you know, a nice crowd of, of folks coming in and out throughout the day. And um, one of the gentlemen from, from town, he, uh, he, he, he came around the corner. And the first room that you see when you come around our, our counter lobby is uh, our Paris room. It's called Paris for the Weekend. And ooh, it's, la la. it's, it's, yeah, ooh la ooh la, la, we have the, the right. decals and, it, the, you know, a big uh, Eiffel Tower right in the, on the back wall and a balcony and the curtains and the, oh, whole, gee. the whole thing. And he, he says, uh, he turns to his wife and he says, hey, hey dear, look, it's, it's Paris. And she kind of chuckled and she says, oh, you know, we're going in a couple of months. You know, isn't that funny? Isn't that ironic? Yeah. And he looks at me and he says, you know, how much you want for the <laughs> for room? <that> right. <laughs> You're going to save me a couple of grand. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, we're staying. We're staying here. Look, it's Paris. She didn't think it, she didn't think it she was, was funny. funny. But, yeah. <laughs> you don't have any Venetian rooms, do you, with no. canals and water? <laughs> they ain't. They hate water. <laughs> but the, the Paris room. Yeah, no, the, no, we no. have. The, we, we'll we'll make the uh, the gondola. The gondola, right? You know, yeah, right. Gondola. But so I do so much appreciate the time you spent. I know you guys are really busy. And uh, tell Meg I said hello. I will tell her uh, she if she were here, we could have had fun. Yeah, she's running. I uh, running the show things. Right I know. Now, so, Only yeah. one of you can be away. Yeah. I understand that right. so I do appreciate it and I will stop by and uh, sure. uh, there's another option for me because I go away I travel for business yeah. and kitty sometimes can be left alone for a few days and I do have somebody coming in but in the snow and all it's been they, they come from Vernon for me God bless them you know it's, yeah that's, that's a big that's trip a, yep. that's a big trip you're a lot closer <laughs> yeah uh, no absolutely <laughs> it is it, it, yeah, yeah. logistics are a big logistics part of that. are a big part yeah. of that so thank you so thank much, you much tell Meg us. I said hello I will and I, I'll be seeing you soon you let me know anytime. any fundraisers you have yeah uh, absolutely once we really kind of get out of grand opening phase information razors that you have we won't hesitate uh, okay thank I you appreciate you coming so this is connie galley thanks for joining us and we'll see you again next month check out happy cat hotel if you get a chance give chris and meg a call and uh you may want to stay there too if your house <laughs> is being renovated or something <laughs> thank you <laughs>